Hey guys, how's it going? This is a Venganator. I'm gonna show you everyone how I tie my white bass flies with the trailer hooks. Right here I'm using a red Aberdeen wire hook. It's a size 2. It's gonna put on my rotary vise. And I have my red thread. This is the Danville's flat waxed nylon. This is my favorite kind of line to use for these, for actually for all flies. I'm just gonna start from the head. It doesn't matter really where you start, but I like to make that so my body's a little thicker. I cut the tail, the thread, go all the way down, down the shank of the hook. And I'm gonna use Trilene 8 pound test. It's gonna cut a symbol on a 4 or 5 inch strip line. I'm just gonna fold that in half. It's gonna create a little loop. And does that too, the ends don't have to match perfectly because you're gonna cut it off anyways. It's gonna loop it, put about 3 quarters to an inch, and tie it up. Now with the tail from the line, I'm just going to pull it back and tie it up again, just like that. Now the two little twin tails, I'm just going to cut that off. There, you're good to go right there. Just going to pull it all the way up there. I take my purple fly. I know the video seems like it's blue, but it's actually dark purple. You don't want the very light purple for white bass. You want the nice dark purple. Right now I cut about, that's right around three, four inches. And that's how I like to make my flies. About three, four inches long. The butt tail, I'm just gonna make a couple wraps on the head. I'm just gonna pull it tight. That'll keep your fly from going all the way around. You'd wanna try to keep it all the way on the top few good wraps. If you have like a little dangling or little frays, just cut it with your scissors. You should have a nice pair of fly tying scissors. Real nice and small, but really sharp. You can find those at all fly shops. I'm just gonna finish the head. I'm just making a nice round or longer head. Just gonna wrap it up. Try to stay away from the eyelet. Take my whip finish tool. One, two, three, four, and five. Let go. Cut. Now what I would use is a good head cement. This is a uh, Ranky Brothers head cement, which is really good stuff. All you do is just put it on. It actually soaks all the way in through the thread and makes a good thread lock on there. Here we go. We got the purple hair with a little loop. And with this little loop, you could put on a little treble hook for a trailer. Or if you wanted to fish with two flies, you just put on another fly at the end of this and you're all set to go. That is my white bass fly right there.